Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we've done a lot of videos on strings. So now we're going to just do some videos on some math. <clears throat> so alright. But hey, uh, before we get into this, just want to touch on this and make sure if you haven't seen videos in a while, we have videos out every single day. So make sure you're clicking that subscribe button with that notification bell so you don't miss any of these because a lot of these are just really good practices to reinforce really good habits and this is going to be a outstanding uh, practice to keep uh, a task like this to take in some numbers and keep a write a real simple function so all right let's just go ahead and get started and also uh, if you do like these type of videos make sure you're hitting the like button and leave in any comments or questions or my absolute favorite video requests. So, all right, uh, definition sum pause. So, all right, then we're going to take in some numbers, close this out. Now, we're just going to do this re real because we're going to we're going to create something. We're going to take this in and we're going to create it. So, we're going to use our built-in function. And we're going to do i for i in numbers let's make sure you can see that I think that should be that should be good numbers if i and we're doing this in list comprehension so we're not even going to do a for loop so if you haven't seen list comprehensions go see that and then now this is how we're going to do a condition statement in our list comprehension. So this is how simple we can do this. And this is we're only adding up, so I gave you a hint, some the positive numbers. So we get a list, take in a list, or an array, or whatever, and then we close out this, and if we look real close, grade it out. So now we need to get our parentheses, and now let's run this. Some pause, and then we give it a list of two, five, three, then negative seven, negative ten. So now let's check this, close this out, close that out, run this, check it. 9. So let's check and make sure we got 1 plus 5 plus 3, and that should be it. And 9. So there we go. This is how simple, clean, and clear. Because when I first was doing this, I was like, oh my god, only the positive numbers. I'm going to have to run through here and write an if statement and then grab it, put it in my list, add so and so. But you guys now have these skills to do this on one little line right here with list comprehension and then using a built-in uh, function from Python. So there we go. So don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.